Welcome back to Techno Sage in YouTube channel. So today we are having the news, which is a bad news nonetheless. But TSMC's three nanometer process, we know it's going to be expensive. But there is another significant thing where it might get more expensive than we predicted, because since the power requirement has gone up from N3E to N5, like from 10 to 18 percent, and it's going to be launched soon. Power consumption has been decreased, logic density has been increased by 1.7 times but there is something that hasn't been scaled as of now and which is N3 features SRAM bit cell size of 0.0199 micron, micrometer per square which is only 5% less compared to N3, N5 and N3E comes with 0.21 micrometer which is way less and this SRAM size matters because it uses it is used in L2 and L3 cache. So basically, if L1 and L2 cache is increased, you know, technically you are going to pay more because the logical density over there is not been increasing. And now we are coming to the part where, like, changing the nodes is doesn't matter that much. Like, it doesn't increases the SRAM bit cell size which is a bad thing to see and it is the similar with Intel 4 process like 7 nanometer EUV by Intel it can't reduce base cell size that much so yeah next generation GPUs CPUs might be more expensive but at the same time the AMD solution will be there like using cores like multi-chip module to communicate with each other as it is the future and in GPUs are going to use it very soon so yeah moving on if this if this if this is true but if it goes beyond like maybe we can see almost 20 percent increase in the prices maybe more than that we still don't know about it but we know intel will do it and amd will soon follow maybe amd won't increase the prices that much but yeah three nanometer node no sram scaling implements implies is more expensive cpus and gpus in the future which is a bad thing to see moving on we have news regarding NVIDIA and it is a pretty nice news like we finally got the mid-range or we can say low-end RTX 40 series CPU, GPU specs and it is going to be 4060 Ti and it comes with Copa 7 Kiri so it's a reputable legal and yeah it's pretty nice like we finally got RTX 4060 Ti it's not a performance but a leak spec sheet and it looks nice as of now it comes with a very short reference port, so it's going to be shorter than RTX 4090, which is a nice thing to see. So it can be easily fit into many ITX cases or small cases, which is a nice thing. Because you can't fit RTX 4090 into big into small cases, it's too big for that to use. And along with it, it comes with 8106 350A1 GPU die, which is 8106 GPU die. Along with it, it comes with 4352 uh, FP32, which is a CUDA course. So it comes with way less compared to RTX 4070. 4070 comes with 5888 and it comes with 4352, which is way less. And it is based on PG190. So it is the same PCI 5.0 connector, though that connector can deliver up to 600 watts. The, perform the GPU requires only 220 watts, so it will have ample amount of power running through it so technically you don't need it but nvidia wants to make it a standard moving forward so they are implementing it later down the line let's just hope it won't melt the gpu along with it it comes with a 32 megabits of l2 cache and 8 gb 8 gigabits of 18 gb per second gddr6 memory and do not it's gddr6 and not 6x so this is going to be shorter slow slow memory capacity but at the same time i don't know whether the pricing would be nice like they need to try it competitively because it's a 4060 ti along with it they are launching ti first and 4060 later something weird is going on and it's not doesn't come with gt 6x let's just hope they don't make it as similar as 4080 along with it we have news and we have open cl benchmark of 4070 ti and you have yeah you heard it right like 4070 ti is the similar in power and specification to uh, 4080 12 gb variant and 4070 ti is here 
4070 Ti like benchmark in OpenCL. It comes with uh, 310 uh, megahertz core clock and 2610 boost clock along with it 12 GB of GDDR6 which we all know. But at the same time, the nice thing is like it fits RX7900 XTX which is also a bad thing because in OpenCL generally AMD GPU does, does bad but in Vulkan they do better so you can see some performance increase in some games but in some you don't. So it, it doesn't say you anything but maybe more performance when more real world benchmark can give us an idea of what this GPU is capable of 47 TM but this is the first benchmark and it scores as you can see on the screen here 21,000 uh, 214,000 points which is nice and which is higher than AMD's implementation but AMD you know it's a flagship CPU so let's just hope there is uh, there will be a powerful there will be a like when Vulkan AMD will clearly beat 4070 DA. so yeah along with it in France you can get RTX 4080 at 13 49 dollars so the price cut in Europe which includes VAC tax is decreasing overall and coming low and low so basically it might be followed like there is price cut massive price cuts for RTX 40 series coming very soon and sooner than we expected maybe later down the line because we know like RTX 4090 is selling pretty high but RTX 4080 it's not selling with that good and in France we can see like it was followed by UK where there was a price cut like it was 1349 then it was in Europe and now it's in France so yeah it's 49 euros in France so yeah maybe RTX 4080 is going low in prices which is a nice thing to see and you can stock it up so yeah that's it for me today what do you think about the news are you excited of everything i talked about sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i will meet you in the next one peace out